And welcome back, this is Beller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. I am the Blue Terran in the Southeast, up against From the Sky, the Red Protoss in the Northwest. The map is Jungle Basin. I did learn the name of that, and I still have it memorized. Yay me. Um, I <laughs> Just a little side note, on a personal level, I am exhausted today, but I do need to get some commentaries out. I don't want you guys missing any day or going any days without your daily StarCraft 2 fix. Uh, hopefully, I am in that glorious state of being hilariously tired and not what I tried to do yesterday where I was just annoyingly tired. So, we are seeing uh, nothing out of the usual, or the, or anything unusual at least, from either me or uh, from the sky. Uh, supply Depot, followed by a barracks for me. Pylon followed by a gateway from him. He's chrono boosting his Nexus a little early on that because he's not training any probes. There we go. It, chrono boost does no good if you're not actually training anything. And of course, uh, he stopped. So maybe uh, he just didn't keep it up. Second pylon going down along with his first gas. Uh, I'm still... Uh, waiting on that barracks. I am getting my first gas as well. Mine will be up a lot sooner than his, though. And there it does start to get saturated. So, uh, but not in time. I will not be able to get a reactor immediately off that barracks, so I will be getting a marine out first. Hopefully I can take out that probe. I forgot what it was called for a second. Oh, and look at that massive fail. I went for the probe and completely missed it. Uh, it was able to sneak between that hole right there. I hate that hole. And Marine is out, but not even close to being able to get rid of that probe. It is just too fast. I don't know what probes are moving on, but it is faster than two legs, I can tell you that. A zealot out on the field for From the Sky, and it is guarding his expansion because you never know when your natural expansion is going to rebel against you. Just a fun fact for you guys. Uh, he does have a slight lead in the harvester count because I did have to stop to get that orbital command, but looks like the mule is out and I am retaking the lead in the income even though I am behind on harvesters. Tech Lab going down on the first barracks. We'll be seeing a reactor on the second one. Maybe? Yes. Oh no. Straight into two Tech Labs. No reactor coming out today. I sent my first two Marines out to the watchtowers. They have uh, been a great asset for me early game to make sure that he is not rushing. But of course, he's just got three zealots out right now. He does have a cybernetics core. Researching warp gate, uh, as well as getting a robotics facility and setting it once again to the wrong ramp. I don't know if he realizes that yet. He's going to be chrono boosting that warp gate technology to try to get that out as soon as possible. So I'm going straight into a factory after my second racks. Are we going to be seeing Hellions? Ah, uh, you guys know me well. Siege tanks are being coming out after that. There we go. The Zealots are going to be moving down to the proper ramp. Um, I think he had them just set here because he forgot which ramp it was. I, I did that once. It, 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 it disappointed me greatly. And we're going to be seeing an Immortal. Chrono boosted out of the robotics facility. Usually, we will be seeing you would see either a prism or an observer, but no, an immortal coming out. So my marauders aren't going to be able to do much. Of course, they do uh, bonus damage against the immortal, but that immortal has such strong defense. And look at that, 50 versus armor. Good lord. That is a strong unit. And it already comes out with one armor. What did my Marauders come out with? One armor. So, he can three shot one Marauder. 20 into 
300. So it will take 15 shots from my Marauder to kill the Immortal. Three shots to kill one Marauder from his Immortal. I hope I said that right and I did my math right. Don't correct me. Please don't. Uh, so it looks like I'm going for an expansion, maybe? I don't have enough minerals for it yet. He is going for his expansion. He also set up pylons to prevent any kind of reaper harass, but I haven't really gone for that since the new patch. Um, not necessarily because I was upgrading them. I never really went for that upgrade, so I wouldn't need to get the factory before I sent in the reapers. But simply because it took that extra 10 seconds or so to get my first two reapers out. Uh, 10 seconds is a long time in gameplay. So we have two immortals out. Four from this guy. And that's going to do well enough to, to stamp out any of this. Um, not sure I could have attacked at any point, really. Uh, those, uh, those immortals would have been on their way at least by the time I got up there, so the one immortal can do a lot of damage, uh, once it does come out. Observer finally coming out. So he's going to be saying that across the map to see what I'm up to. And, oh, I am up to something. Here I send them all the way across the map. They do a pro split all by themselves. And these guys will be lagging behind for the rest of the town. And I send it right into the Immortal because I knew exactly where it was the entire time. Ugh. His expansion is up and his probes are being transferred. And my expansion is just now finishing. Probably not going to be seeing a transfer because I'm going to be moving out into this space right here. He can't really see me, can he? Oh, he can see me. Oh, look at that horrible placement for me. And I give him enough time to warp in a couple more stalkers as if he needed it with those two immortals out already. I should be able to... Oh, look at that. That is a Colossus. Oh, he didn't even get a chance to use this is pretty new colossus but it would have wiped he didn't need to it wiped me out completely uh, I don't even think I saw it but I have what do I have in my base what am I getting a uh, siege tank is out I am getting missile turrets because I'm awesome at scouting and he's got so many air units he's got no air units So I am just trying to build up an army. I need more siege tanks. More. Should have gotten a second factory, really. Um, but it was still kind of early in the game, I thought. But now I do see that Colossus, because it did go over here to kill my marine at the Zelnaga Tower. But it's not going to help me any, because the game's pretty much over now. If he just moves in... And a horrible placement on that sea chain. Look at that. It's not even guarding the entire ramp. It needs to be about here-ish. Or even on this side. What is it doing here? It's not doing much of anything. I can tell you that. So bad placement for me. Is going to be spelling my doom here. Absolutely no doubt about it. I stand no chance. Those two immortals. What, are the, what kind of damage do they have? Oh, one's already got two kills. The other one's got five kills, so it's already a mentor. And <laughs> there's really only do been two small skirmishes. Those immortals are just so powerful early game, especially against these marauders. Even with their one attack upgrade. Does he got any upgrades? No, it doesn't look like he does. But it's not going to be that important uh, because he's got uh, so much better units than I do. Oh my goodness, look at that. Just two siege tanks, both of them out of position. And of course, he went down here to take out these rocks to go into the expansion. Uh, I never keep track of those rocks there. And I really should. That observer will be here the entire time to make sure uh, that he is safe in destroying those rocks. And there he starts. I am going to be getting Vikings out. Um because I need to take out that Colossus that was there. And Vikings, of course, can attack Colossus without the Colossus attacking them. 
so Vikings are a good counter, but uh, just one of them is not going to be enough because he has so many stalkers out that he could easily snipe down that Viking. And there, everything dies. Oh my goodness. I am just checking to see if my army was moving. No, it wasn't. So now it is just starting to move. Is he going to be able to take out this expansion? I lift it off in a desperate attempt. And I start to move it away. Oh, but those immortals are going to be too strong. There, down goes the Viking. Thanks to those stalkers. Now that they get to focus fire onto those marauders, I really stand no chance. The immortals do go down, but the damage has already been done. And of course, a second Colossus on the way. Of course, with that Thermal Lance upgrade, he's got just as much range as the Siege Tank. Look at that. Oh, now 13 range as opposed to 9. So no, the Siege Tank Siege Shop does have a longer range as, I assume, the largest range in the game. But the game is over. So I am forced to GG with 1,565 minerals. Oh, so just a bad game for me. It was my first game of the day. As this is my first commentary of the day. So uh, probably didn't do that well in the commentary t right now either. But a uh, really good game from From the Sky. Really teched up fast. Those immortals really saved the day for him. Of course, between the two of them, seven kills just from this little skirmish here and this little skirmish here. Uh, there might have only been 12 units and the immortals were able to kill tw seven of them. I can't do 7 out of 12 in my head, but that is more than half, I do know that. So, great game from From the Sky, bad game for me. Uh, hopefully I will do better in the next game. Hope you laughed, hope you learned, hope to see you next time. I'm out. See ya.